what is going on you guys welcome back to a, another video so in this video I got another product for you guys from Max Speeding Rods and for those of you who may not know I just recently got my first sponsor for the channel a company by the name of Max Speeding Rods uh, sent out some products for me uh, to try out on my F30 um, I already tried one of them out. Uh, they were the M-Style carbon fiber mirror caps that I installed just recently in one of my previous videos. So this next product that I'm going to be featuring uh, from them are some smoked LED turn signals to go with the carbon fiber mirror caps that I just recently installed. Since the carbon fiber adds a more aggressive look and a little bit darker look since I had just the white caps previously, the turn signals that are on there right now that come stock have just the clear you know, LED look. I feel like it doesn't go that well with the carbon fiber mirror caps. So I went ahead and just got some smoked LED turn signals to go with the mirror caps since I think those would look a lot better. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys these smoked LED turn signals from Max Speeding Rods. Get a nice little customer service card. And then here we have the turn signals. Uh, that's nice to give you a nice little pry tool just in case you don't have one I have one so I'm gonna go ahead and use the one I have but in case you didn't it's cool because they give you one so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the bag so I can show you guys real quick so here are the LED smoked turn signals they look good overall so far I mean Nothing really amazing about them since they are just turn signals like the ones I have on my car already, just smoked. Um, so now the most important thing is just the fitment, that they fit properly in the mirror. And then just making sure that they function properly and you know blink properly once I uh, connect them through the electrical connection there. So yeah, I actually just found a, another cool little tool that they give you to uh, install these that I didn't notice because they're so small. but. They actually give you a little tool here so that you can remove the T10 screws that are holding uh, all this in place uh, where the turn signals are secured in. So that's cool. Just in case you don't have a T10 Torx bit, uh, they just give you one. So that's pretty awesome on their part. They give you all the tools you need just in case you don't have them to install these turn signals. So definitely a thumbs up on all the stuff that comes in the box. You get everything you need to install these just in case you don't have the tools yourself so definitely a good start here so now I'm gonna go ahead and try to install these on the car so to install uh, the turn signals on the back here uh, the process is gonna start out the same as if you were just gonna remove the, the mirror cap to install the just the mirror caps uh, we're gonna have to remove the actual mirror inside here by prying it out with a pry tool I'm gonna be using my own even though they did provide you with one, I'm just going to be using my own because I feel like this one will be a little bit easier since it's metal, it's more sturdy. Uh, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to do here is go, go ahead and remove this mirror. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and tilt the mirror all the way up so that I have plenty of room on the bottom here. I do want to mention again, I mentioned it in my last video when I installed just the mirror caps. Uh, when you're trying to take off uh, the mirror itself, be very careful because uh, from what I was seeing, a lot of people have accidentally broke the actual mirror from trying to pry it out just too aggressively. So just be extra careful so you don't accidentally break your mirror.
so now that I got the mirror off, the next thing to do would be to remove the actual mirror caps. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the carbon fiber mirror caps that I just put on. Uh, to do that, you have to squeeze together these little, like, clips here. So squeeze them together, like, with your fingers, and then just kind of push, push out or pull, like, on the mirror cap outward. There's three of these, so one here, one in the middle there, and then one on the top corner up here. Alright, well as you just saw, the mirror cap just went flying outwards and I didn't put my hand back here to hold it. So just make sure you do that. Uh, thankfully, when it hit the ground, it doesn't look like there was really any damage. I guess that's a cool thing about these mirror caps. They're pretty durable, so yeah, just make sure you put your hand on the back here as you're like pushing it out so it doesn't fly out like as you just saw. It happened to me. Okay, so now that the mirror cap is off, we have access to the screws that we're going to need to remove. So there's one here, and then four or five on the inside here, one there, one up here, one right there, one right here, and one over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just use that tool that they uh, provided in the box, the T10. Uh, that's what size these uh, screws are to remove these screws and then we should uh, be able to like pull back on this like plastic piece here and then I should be able to just like slide this outward. So these top two uh, screws are having a hard time uh, coming out with this uh, tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably use one of my T20 tools and see if I can get those out. Alright, so now this whole bottom piece should just come out. There we go. and disconnect the electrical connection on the bottom there. There we go. There's the old one, the stock one. Go ahead and get the new one. Here I have the new one, the smoked LED one. Go ahead and connect electrical connection here all right so before I put everything back together I'm gonna go ahead and just activate this by turning on the hazards just to make sure it works Oh, okay, well it works. Uh, I honestly didn't know it was sequential. I thought it was just gonna be just the regular blinking off and on, not the sequential, but I guess that's cool, that's a plus. Um, but it works, so that's the most important part. 
All right, so as you can see, it works. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff back together. So I noticed that it was kind of, have, I was having a hard time like kind of putting this completely together like this piece supposed to go inside here but it wasn't going all the way and I was just confused but I figured out why um, right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, that's where the screw goes into and it needs to go in the hole that is on this metal piece. So if you guys can see it, uh, that black piece needs to go inside of the hole that's on the metal piece right here for it to like sit completely in the correct position. Um, but that's why it wasn't going all the way. Same with this piece over here, if you guys can see it. That piece right there. The black bottom piece needs to slide in the hole that's a part of the turn signal so that it sits correctly all together when you're trying to put this all back together. So yeah, hopefully I uh, was able to clear that up if case you uh, run into that issue and you're wondering why it's not going in all the way, but that's why. I have it all uh, seated in the correct position all together, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws back in. So now everything is completely installed and there is the smoked LED turn signal with the carbon fiber mirror caps. Here's what it looks like with the turn signal on. Definitely looks pretty sweet. Here's what it looks like with the old setup with just the stock LEDs, you can't even see anything honestly because it's so bright out right now. You can barely see it. So yeah, it definitely looks a lot better with the smoked. I am super happy with how this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now so that we can complete the set.
right guys, both of the smoked turn signals are in. And I have to say they look a lot better. So I'm glad these lived up to my expectations. They look a lot better than the than just the LED clear stock turn signals. I'm going to go ahead and turn the hazards on so we can take a look. So these are the sequential turn signals. Uh, to my surprise, I honestly thought they were just going to blink off and on like the stock ones, but these are pretty sweet. Um, they look pretty cool and definitely unique. And the smoked look looks a lot better with the carbon fiber mirror caps. Um, in terms of the fitment of the turn signals, uh, everything fit like fine. Uh, there is a slight little like gap right there between the mirror cap and the turn signal, but I mean, not that big of an issue. Uh, it isn't like that on the driver's side for some reason. Uh, it fits more in place on this side. I mean, it's there's a tiny gap. It's smaller than the other one. But I mean, from far away, you won't really notice unless you walk up to it and really look at it. So overall, the fitment was good, just fine. No huge complaints at all with the fitment. And you can see they work. Uh, no electrical issues or anything. I pretty much just did like a complete makeover for the mirror caps with the carbon fiber mirror caps and these smoked sequential turn signals. These look 10 times better than just the stock white mirror caps and then just the stock turn signals. Definitely goes well with the rest of the car in terms of this, you know, aggressive, more sporty look with the wheels, the front lip, and just the M Sport body style in general. Absolutely love how this car looks now. As you can see, carbon fiber mirror caps are absolutely fire. Uh, they look awesome in the sun, as you can see here. So like I said, two for two on these products from Max Speed Rods. Definitely satisfied with how these came out. All right, you guys, like I said, I am definitely satisfied with both of these products from Max Speeding Rods, the carbon fiber M-style mirror caps, and then the smoked sequential turn signals here. If you would like to purchase either of these products or both, I'm gonna have both of them linked down in the description of this video. Along with that, I am gonna have a discount code for you guys to get 15% off at checkout if you purchase either of these products or both. So again, all the information will be down in the description of this video. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Thanks again to Max Peating Rods for sending these products out to me to share with you guys. And thank you guys for watching as always. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here for more content like this. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.